After an entire school year of remote learning for some North Texas students, some may have the option to learn from home again next school year. As Andrea Lucia reports tonight, school districts are weighing the options and asking for input from parents. Hi, everyone. After a challenging school year, districts are navigating their way back to normal. But some are asking what normal should now look like. We're coming off of what's been a rough year for everybody. Fort Worth ISD today began surveying families online about their expectations for next fall. We haven't gotten many guidance from TEA just yet, but in an effort to be ahead of the game, do you want your children to be in virtual classes or do you want them to be in in-person classes? The district wants to know if parents still want their kids wearing masks and how they'd feel about the idea of extending the next school year into late June. We, we all know that students have experienced a learning loss, and that has to be addressed at some point. Garland and Richardson are both exploring the possibility of continuing to offer virtual learning as an option. We know that many families will prefer a virtual option if one is available, a Richardson ISD spokesperson wrote CBS 11. Many of them have thrived and wish to continue, wrote one from Garland ISD. Richardson said it is exploring the idea of an altogether separate school for students who want virtual learning. Meanwhile, in Dallas, the pandemic expedited the district's existing plans to open a hybrid school. Students beginning here this fall will attend in person two days a week and online the rest. Virtual learning in the future, though, will look different. Teachers would be assigned to work exclusively with online students, and classes would have their own specially designed curriculum, rather than one hastily pieced together in the midst of a pandemic. Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. There is a bill, by the way, right now before the state legislature that would make it easier for districts to offer virtual learning on a large scale. It's House Bill 1468. It would allow students in online classes to count toward a school's daily attendance. That's important because it prevents campuses from losing out on funding as a result.